I'm in the trenches with my rifle, do rag for the title. Dear tag in the clouds, make you question the Bible. This deadly podcast will make you threaten your rivals. Drew Montana and I am Ali, straight finessing your idols. Yeah. Yeah. You already know what it is, man. Faggots fuck fixes on a fucking Friday. Jesus <clears throat> Christ. <sighs> All right, let's go. No, that's the start of the episode. No, no, it's yeah, not. It's, it's okay. No, yeah, it's, uh, that's not it's in there. I already clapped three times. <laughs> no, yeah. you got to start it from after nah. that. No. I can maybe that dolphin dope. noise over that. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Dolphin noise. But I no, you should it. just cut it out. Just that was cut the wild, thing out. That's, that was that's my voice warm up. That's how you warm up? Yeah, <laughs> dog. what? Where did you learn that? <laughs> Me? In fucking college. You go to Nazi school? <laughs> In public speaking class. <laughs> He's like, Hitler. Yeah. I don't even want to say the rest of it. <laughs> He's going to get me out of here. Wow. I'm just, listen, dog. Whatever he talk about, hopefully y'all ain't see it. It don't matter. You know what I mean? They going to see it. Come on, bro. I'm going to beep shit out. That's just a, that's just a uh, voice warm up, y'all. Well, you speaking to the new editor of the show, so you can pay me whatever you want <laughs> to get whatever you want to edit it out of here. Well, fuck we'll it. I'm not paying it. you, so it's going to be in there. We'll talk so about I'm going to tell y'all this time. right now. That's what you learn. If you, y'all you don't understand when you go to podcasting school, that's the voice warm up they teach you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know that, though. But what's up, y'all? do rag in the deer tag. Back in this bitch. Episode Man. fucking... Where we at? 14. 47? Four, 47, 14. 14? Yeah. Episode 14. Hold on. Shout game, out our sponsors game. real quick. I gotta get better backwards from our room. Alright. Well, today our sponsors is... Uh, oh, the first sponsor is the Fraternal Order of, of Police. The Philadelphia Fraternal Order of Police is sponsoring Durag and a Deer Tag today. Uh, Drew Uncle is actually one of the top members of the Fraternal Order of Philadelphia Police, so <laughs> that's why he's sponsoring this episode. He started wilding. I told him I ain't want to do that, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? Wherever the money comes, that's where we take it from. Naeem Uncle is actually the uh, head member of the FBI, and he's <laughs> offering a $500 reward to anybody who snitches on their neighbors for stepping outside during the uh, lockdown. <laughs> so you could reach Naeem, reach out to Naeem for that number. Yeah, let me know. We can and, break uh, that money down. Yeah. Just let me know. All rat affiliations. No, ain't no rat affiliations. I hope I see you. Nah, come on, yo. What's up, though, man? How you feeling? We we went to the protest this weekend, dog. Yeah, you got yo. corona? That joint was probably, we probably all got it. But I, I feel healthy. I feel strong. If I got the corona, it made me feel stronger afterwards. Word. Seamus told me to take two weeks to find out um, what, I guess, if the corona manifested. So we're going to know around two weeks. All right, bet. But Seamus, By then, great room going to be open. Yeah, I was going to say, Seamus looked like he got his own diseases to worry about. Hell so. yeah. We ain't listening to Seamus. Yeah, right. Seamus looked like he got fucking... What's that disease? What's that Wolfman disease when you grow hair all over your body? He yeah, that's that what disease. I was thinking of. Fucking team wolf ass Seamus. You know what I'm saying? Seamus Shame, start playing ball in me and just hair sprout out. Seamus <laughs> get Viking diseases. Like whatever the Vikings got back in it. Like he look like he eat like roots and berries. Yeah, he do. Get fucked up he off do. It. He do like he eat roots and berries. Seamus look like Seamus look like he eat fucking hummus on everything. <laughs> he look like he take hummus and put that shit on his chicken wings. You feel me? <laughs> Shout out to Seamus. Seamus thinks uh, hummus is spicy food. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guy. Why we ain't have him on here yet? He, yo, he been told me he wanted to be on his. You a bad uh, coordinator. Bad. I know my bad, Seamus. Yeah, but now with the protests, what uh, what you was thinking about them? Oh yeah, look, so you was out more than I was. Yeah, so when we went, it was way more calm. I wish me, I wish you'd have went that first day because you'd have yeah. fucking been in a fucking war zone. Hell you yeah. feel me? That's your type of vibe. But no, when we went, it was chilling. It was like everything was organized, no loot and nobody burned cop cars. It was none of that. We actually had a nice time walking on the, around. On the first drinks. time? No, I'm talking about me. Oh, yeah, yeah. The first time I went, it was cop cars getting burned, regular cars getting burned, people looting, breaking store windows. Oh, yeah. It went crazy. It got it got way out of hand. Yeah, dude. I wish I kind of did see uh, that aspect of it. Because when I went down there, that's what I was expecting. Yeah. And then that wasn't what I got at all, though. Yeah, nah, nah. This 
It's chill now. That was just the initial reaction. You got to think that was like the next day. That was like the day no, I after. Saw, I saw like fucking seven days after. So. Well, you know, I'm talking about when I was down there. The day I was True. down there was like the next day after they didn't lock up the cop that had fucking killed uh, George Floyd. True. So then everybody just freaked out. They was protesting and then the protesters was doing their thing. And here come looters. And it just wilded out. People started burning. Yo, and the cops were standing there watching it. I think the whole thing with looting is like, they picked the wrong... It's like, they started in the right places. Yeah, they started downtown, and then like, they started going anywhere. Well, I'm saying, like, the even the initial looting started in uh, Minneapolis. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, like, yeah, one right, of the right. first places I saw to get burned was Arby's. And I said, yeah, fuck yeah, we should definitely Hell yeah, fuck get Arby's. rid of all Arby's. Nobody eats at a fucking Arby's. And, it, and the looting started at Target because Target wasn't, mm-hmm. wouldn't sell anything to the protesters. So that's how that shit initially started. Not saying that that's right. But depending on, I mean, what you're trying to get done, sometimes you got to fucking break a couple eggs. You feel me? So, but that's how that started in Minneapolis. Because they said the Target wouldn't sell them shit. I didn't hear that. Well, yeah, fuck Target, too. I've never been a fan of Target. Target hires more retarded people than any company yeah, they do. in America. Just so. to fucking be, try to act like they're good people. Yeah. But yeah, uh-huh. so then, but when we was down there, it was super chill. It was just a march, chance, you know, all types of fucking positive shit was going on. Yeah, it was cool. We started some chants. We fucking, uh, I got Naeem up on my shoulders. We walked around and screamed Black Lives Matter. Hell yeah, shit was popping. That was dope. I felt like a real, uh, I thought we could have made like New York Times with that. We fucking, but, me, and, me and Drew combined like when the Power Rangers fucking called their Zords together. You feel me? We pulled out our fucking watches and shit and fucking. And and G-Shocks. Man, hell yeah. Unite. That's how we got it popping. Yeah. The one thing I did learn uh, more than anything at the protest is that I'm out of shape. Because I think I tore my MCL. Just from walking in a straight line. Yo. Just from protest. Peaceful protest. Yo. No yeah, activity yo. at all. I, I was fucking struggling. Now it's... It was my MCL the first day and like the day after. Now it's two days after and it's my uh, left hamstring and my right calf. And I think I'm about to blow out my Achilles tomorrow, dude. I'm fucking going through it. I don't yo, know what it is. Yo, we was walking Drew like, yo, you think you can tear your ACL just by walking? So I'm like, what? I'm like, no, you can't. Mm-hmm. And Ryan was like, dude, you definitely can blow out your ACL by walking. <laughs> and once I heard that, I know it was over. Ryan Foster yeah. is the, uh, the medical professional. Yeah, hell yeah. He I know better than to. I do. Yeah. I was just trying to be optimistic. You know what I mean? So my homie could make it home. Ryan was like, fuck all that. Yeah, you could blow your shit out by walking. Yeah, dude. I think I blew it out. I'm yeah, you had struggling. a wild lump. I'm going to be like Adrian Peterson, though. I'm going to come back from this yeah, 10 times back stronger. stronger. Yeah, right. 2,000 yards. Yo, we walking down the block. People thought Drew had got beat by the cops. They're like, what's up with your man? Why he walking like that? I'm like, shh. No, we just was walking for a long time. They, they thought Drew had got fucked up. I'm like, nah. Dude, my fucking knees got tear gassed. <laughs> I was struggling this weekend. Yeah, that was a bad joint, yo. You got to get out here, yo. You got to start fucking taking care of your body. Yeah. That Yo. was the initial reason I didn't want to go to the protest. Is I, I just kept seeing people on the news getting tear gas. And I'm like, I'm not fucking getting tear gas for anybody. I'm going to just keep doing yeah. what I've always done my whole life. And that's just be nice to black people. Right. And, that's doing that's doing you your part. I mean? That's actually more important. Because yeah. there's, there's people that was out there protesting that I'm sure at one point in time. No black yeah, they don't I, got, I'm not pulling that right. card like, oh, I got a black friend. You know, nah, I'm not, but I've never true. been the type to pull that card on anything, but yeah. it's like... But actions speak louder than yeah, protests. Exactly. You feel exactly. me? Like, if you out here and you got black homies and you treat everybody the same, that's way more important than being out there protesting. Speaking of, apparently we have the most racist podcast in the city. Yeah, that's what I heard. Like a white man and a black man. So. Yeah, I definitely heard that. Yeah. I heard we had the most racist and homophobic Oh, yeah. Guys. No, we probably do have the most homophobic, but racist is... Yeah, but this is the thing. It's dude, not... we're like the third most racist podcast. It got it. That's what I'm about to say. Yo, we you can't put us at number one. Ryan I mean, Peggy. thank you for the honor. You feel yeah. me? But that's crazy. Ryan and Peggy were only marching because of community service. Yeah, they, they had to. Out there. Right. They fucking probation officers told them to come out there. We did it because we fucking wanted to. We was right. just out there. And I did it because I wanted to uh, 
get a picture so I can show my grandkids someday. Yeah, hell Whatever. yeah. There's going to be a lot of y'all lying to y'all grandkids. Like, I was out there marching in 2020. I was right there. Drew Front was line. there. Front lines. Mm-hmm. Nah, you know what a funny prank I, would, I was thinking of, though, for the podcast? Um, Once we get in Grape Room. What's that? We're going to get a smoke machine. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're going to start playing We Will Rock You by Queen for, oh, like, the first yeah. episode. And everybody's going to think we're coming out. That's the shit. But it's going to be tear gas in the smoke machine. <laughs> Oh hell He's yeah! Gonna fuck everybody up, right? Hey, everybody yeah. gonna be in there fucking coughing and screaming and shit. Oh, what's happening? And then I'm gonna yell out, "I heard it's fucking poisonous gas." <laughs> we, yeah, we gonna start People saying, think it's fucking "We will rock you, buddy." Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, look, this one I, I don't even know the words. I pulled my phone off for a reason because I forgot to tell you something. Don't start answering text messages. No, on listen, I want to show up. you. I want to show you something so you know I'm not fraud. What? Um. Better Look, be fucking cash out this Silas, know. right? Hey, shout out to Silas. Hey, yeah, bro, gang. listen, I I want I want supposed to say nothing about this, but oh well, this dude rag in the deer tag. This coming out right now. Jesus, you feel me? Uh, it's obviously way more important things going on. Blah blah blah, podcast shit, right? I talked to the owner of Great today. We getting things ready. Once it's okay, we back in there. You know what I'm saying? How long? We talking a week or two. You feel me? Bro. Major. About to be back in great, bro, bro. I can't and wait. And that's just between us, the people that's watching yeah. this. And, you know what I mean? Don't tell nobody nothing about that you saw on this fucking podcast. Yeah, don't tell nobody. If you go and tell your friends, tell your friends to watch this podcast. But if you tell them, don't tell what, them what you, you were, saw. You a fucking rat. Yeah, you a snitch. You a 6'9. Yeah, and it's fuck you for real, for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go and tell them to watch it. Don't go out there and be like, yo. Don't be like, yo, Drew had this, this fire ass joke. Like, we know because those happen. Yeah. But like, the, Tell them to experience it for themselves. Right. Don't tell them the joke. Don't repeat yeah. the joke there because you're not going to do it right if you try to say what Drew said. Because that's like, I do that. Every Everybody does that though. Like you hear a good joke and you're yeah. like, oh, fucking Patrice had this joke about uh, right. white women and how this and that. and But you got to hear him tell it. Like, right. That's corny, man. Tell him, Have him tell it. Exactly. Let them let them get the experience for themselves. Yep. This part not rolling how I want it to. So. It's all good. But, it's yo, speaking right. of 6 9 real quick, um, cause I know... I'm locked up. Yeah, I was going to say, man, he working with your favorite favorite artist. What you think about that? Well, this is the thing. I never really fucked with Akon like that. No way. Yeah, y'all, was, y'all was gassing him. I never fucked with Akon like that. You told me. Even you on that, I song. never told you that. Even on that Locked Up song, I'm a Styles P fan. I ain't give a fuck about Akon being on there. I kind of thought, like, dang, you should have just gave this on the Styles... You look and like let him Akon, throw some Mayo on there. You look like Akon infused Sammy Sosa's suntan lotion. <laughs> no, yeah, just a little bit. You look like fucking. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, yeah that was a good. One. You look like fucking Sammy Sosa <laughs> post suntan lotion. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. When I saw that, um, I actually had a feeling that was gonna happen because I remember seeing Akon. Come out like while he was in jail, and he's like, "Yeah, I, I would have did the same thing." And yeah, like, he said that. Yeah, was that a good African A kind of? Yeah, that was close enough. Yeah, probably better than what I would have did. But um, I feel like it's the wrong time for me to be over exaggerating us. What African accents? Yeah, is that racist? <laughs> I don't know. Everything is it, now. Yeah, it is. You, you just watch your P's and Q's. This dog. podcast is racist, dog. It is. If apparently, if you didn't hear, and we got a black and a white. And they still say it is racist. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, well. But yeah, like I was saying, I wasn't surprised about that. I did see uh I don't know. I'm not I was surprised about the locked up shit. That, that was nuts though. Yeah, I was mad. Cause I'm like, there's so many other people that could like what if you yeah. gave Tori that sample or something for the chicks tape set right. or seven, whatever. Right. And you give it to what if you give it to me? Imagine you get at the meat. That would have been stupid, mm-hmm. yo. Like that would have been dumb. Gucci. You give it, Gucci. You give it the fucking six nine, fuck out of here, Akon. I never liked him no way. So all y'all that was gassed off him, that's y'all fault. I knew he wasn't shit. Yeah, I hope Akon get locked up. <laughs> hey yo, that's some hating ass shit to say. Speak it into existence, hey, pussy. Yo, <laughs> you locked up. You ain't yo. getting out. Hell yeah, damn. You ain't getting out. Yeah, y'all. Locked up. We would never do no shit like that. 
Six Nine could never be on do rag in the dare tag unless he paid us a hefty no. price. You know what I'm saying? Nah. I yeah. I don't even like bringing his name up on here no Me more. Me neither. I don't want to talk yeah. about it. I'm mad you even brought that dumb shit up. You brought it you up. Fucking idiot. Dog, don't you ever brought this shit up. On that shit again. See? Oh you see this boy Drew? Drew knows Six Nine because they live in New York together. All that New York, all New York niggas is rats. That's wild. Yo, <laughs> speaking of uh, rats, can you, um, I'm trying to think how I can, oh, I can just send it to you through my computer. So we're going to read this script. I wrote a play. Here we go. Let's get it. <laughs> you got your phone on you? Yeah. Let's get it popping. And I'm, and I'm barely, this is how good I am at acting. I'm saying, I'm barely going to look at my phone and I'm still going to nail all the lines. All right. Oh, all right. I, worked I long got hard it. On this. I got it. Um, background, real quick, man. So the Lego, Lego police force has recently been let go. I don't know if you guys saw. Uh, they removed all Lego police sets from stores, and uh, that's a big force out of a job, man. Yeah, you gotta think. I mean, we we try to abolish police, but we not try to completely abolish police. You know what I mean? Yeah, we try, you need something there. We try to fucking... reconstruct the system. Yeah, right. Yeah, you can't just get rid of Without all... Without completely destroying it. You can't get rid of all rules. You right. know what I mean? Then yeah. it's going to be chaos. And that's what I worry about in the Lego world right now. I think it's going to be a lot going yeah. on. Yeah, they don't make the Lego yeah. officers no more. How, yeah, who bro. the fuck going to keep shit in line? And, and Lego got a lot more problems than we do. They got uh, Star Wars characters running around. Batman yep. is running around. Yep. And people rogue now, man. It's fucked up. And uh, yeah, I dedicated a lot of time and effort into this. Yeah. Hold on, let me grab this ashtray. Let's get it. Oh, I can't grab the ashtray. That's holding the fucking camera up. That's how we do shit in here. We <laughs> don't use tripods. We got other shit. We got ashtrays to hold cameras up. The, the, this, how, this, how, this is how rich we are. We fucking ash. We ash our weed on plates. On plates, dog. Me? Porcelain plates. Hell yeah, y'all. Right, we use China. You feel me? Yeah. Shout out to China. This ain't plastic. <laughs> nah. This that real shit. Scene one takes place. All right. The Lego police station. You want to be the narrator too? Yes. Really? Yes. Hell yeah. Scene dude. one takes place at the Lego. Wait, police read, station. read the character's name first. All story. right, look. So these are the Lego cops. Drew will That's be. That's the name of the story. Lego cops. Yeah. Lego cops. You know what I'm saying? And 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 movies soon. Drew is Officer Ben Jameson, or for or for my nickname since he he my partner. I call him BJ on the slide. You feel me? And then me. I'm, <laughs> I'm Officer Troy Opals. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I call him Opie because he smoked them opiates. You know what I mean? <laughs> Damn right. High. Scene one takes place at the Lego police station the day after all officers were fired. Oh, hold on. Screen went dark. Hey, Officer Troy. Did you hear the big news? Yeah, I can't believe it. How can they fire all Lego police officers? It's crazy. The people have been trying to get rid of us since the L.A. riots after we beat Lego O.J. Simpson ass. You mean Lego Rodney King? You're right. All Lego people look the same. This was a stupid job. Anyway, these guns don't even work. And all the roads here suck. Who the fuck paved Lego highways? Fucking toddlers? Dog, what are we going to do now that we have no jobs and no money? Only time will tell, soldier. Only time will tell. Hell yeah. End scene. Hell yeah. Now, scene two takes place behind a Sunoco gas station in Trenton, New Jersey. Lego Trenton, New Jersey. Yeah. The two former Lego police officers are now homeless and addicted to morphine. They took from the evidence locker. Showing flashback scenes right now. Imagine that. Picture it. Right. What time does the helicopter come drop supplies off again? <laughs> that never happened. You got money? Let's get high. I found this dresser behind the other Sudoku with toilet paper in it. I've been shitting in the bottom <laughs> drawer for about three weeks. <laughs> I, wait, I would kill a man for a cheeseburger right now. You know whose dresser that is? Sometimes I wish these needles had grenades in them instead of heroin, and that way we didn't have to do this anymore. 
You should have never been cops. Yeah, that fucked our whole life up. Wait a minute. We're Legos. We could be whatever we want. What? And scene. Hell yeah, yo. <laughs> Y'all didn't even know we was going there yeah, with it. This fucking shit assholes. Good. Yeah, this get shit your get fucking good. screen right up. Come on, dog. Scene three. Takes place in the Lego Indiana Jones video game from 2008. Officer Troy Opals is now Indiana Troy Opals. <laughs> and he's whipping female white Legos. Officer Ben Jameson is now Lego Harry Potter. And he's a... And he has a magic wand just in case. Hell yeah. We whipping white people and riot in all 2020. Let's fucking get it. You gotta act out whipping white Yeah, people. ah, you fucking white whore. Take this, ah, take this whip, ah. We'll wrap it around your neck and choke you. This is 2008. We in the Lego Indiana Jones video game. How the fuck that happened? Lego time is in the space time continuum in which parallelograms and rhombus can bend the evolution of plutons, therefore time can only go backwards. Right. What'd that magic wand do? The only spell I've learned so far is to make mashed potatoes. None of this makes sense anymore. How are we going to get back to 2020? We wait 12 years, Troy. We wait 12 years. But technically, wouldn't that be 2032? And scene. That's where we leave them off, dog. Ew. Give it up for us. Yeah. See that? We should make y'all pay for that. Y'all lucky we got no fucking Patreon set up. Y'all wouldn't have got that for free. I might Patreon that part. Y'all wouldn't have got that for free. And don't steal our idea. Yeah, don't start writing fucking scripts for your podcast Mm -hmm. either, dog. This is our... Because we'll find you and we'll fucking hurt you. Yeah. And we both have special skills. You know what I'm saying? Skills that are not just applicable to movies. Goddamn right. Skills that fucking my Glock 43 has. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking take my idea. Uh, Goddamn right. That's the magic wand right there. That's what right. that shit do. <laughs> fucking focus, dickheads, focus. what y'all thought we was talking about? Y'all thought we was joking? Poof. <laughs> hey, yo. Yeah. Nah, I'm playing I feel like I condone violence a lot on this podcast. I'm a, I'm a chill boy. I ain't even want to go to the riots this weekend. Yeah. If they was going to have pepper spray out. Yeah, but though, that's part of life. True. Accept it. Just fucking. You got, sometimes you got to just take the violence and just mold it and use it when you need it. You feel me? That's what it's about. Yeah, that's what God said on the, on the seventh day. That's why you the fucking deer tag. You take the violence. Oh, yeah, dude. And you put the violence through a fucking animal and then you eat that shit. That's what deer tags do. You know what I mean? You gotta fucking take it and mold it. You know what I have been watching a lot of lately? What's that? Swamp People. Oh yeah, that's your shit. Yeah, shout out to Lemire. Me and Lemire been watching a lot of Swamp People. Lemire looked like he watched Swamp People. Lemire looked like he from the swamp. <laughs> Lemire looked like a swamp creature. <laughs> But that's a different story for a different day. Yeah, hell but yeah. nah, dude. Me, um, I mean, I've been watching a lot by myself too. But yeah, dude, swamp people's crazy. They get these fucking like ten foot alligators, twelve foot, yeah. sometimes like thirteen foot gators. They fucking get them with a fishing pole and shoot them. Oh shit! Yeah. And then what they eat? Cook them and eat them and yeah. shit. Yeah. Well, they sell them to a buyer. And the I buyer, heard it tastes good. Matter of fact, gator tastes real good. Yeah, I had gator nuggets before. I had like, a gator kebab. Yeah, I had gator nuggets before. They was good. What um were they like fried? They with, was like, fried. On them? Yeah, they okay. was fried with bread. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah. Because these were like just the gator meat on the kebab, but it had like I think it had like a sausage texture. But okay. It tasted like chicken. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. Yeah, it tastes like chicken, but it was kind of tough, like beef. Yeah, it was really good though. It was real good. I I was in Jacksonville with my uncle and my cousins and shit, and that shit was it was on point. And but luckily they didn't tell me what it was, so after I ate it, I'm saying because they didn't. I wouldn't have ate it. I'd have been like, no. Yeah, but yeah, you'd be surprised though. It's all types of shit. Like you, you wouldn't eat, think you wouldn't think squid would be good. Calamari is very good though. <clears throat> you eat that shit, you'd be like, damn, it's good. If I got a like a plate of like good ass steaks on the podcast for you. Mm-hmm. Like four good ass steaks and then one like kangaroo steak and then like a piece of snake and then mm-hmm. maybe like a fucking a turkey heart or something. 
but you ain't know which was which, and you was blindfolded. Would you right. do it? All right, we got swap though. I get a, I get to get a plate of shit that I want that you gotta try. Nah, cause you gonna give me fucking <laughs> y'all eat weird shit. No, y- what y'all eat weird shit? Y'all eat yeah. the weird. Y'all out here eating fucking bear and fucking liver and shit like That's that. All good stuff. That's wild shit. That's all good stuff. You eat pig feet. I don't eat no pig feet. My What's the weirdest thing you eat? I don't eat nothing. My Muslims don't eat weird stuff. So. This will, I, I would just get some shit that's not even in our fucking and black people fucking category. I'm gonna look up in, with shit Indians and Chinese people eat, and I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna put shit like. Well, that. yeah, if we gonna do that, then I'm gonna just go. You're not getting no steak. You're just gonna get <laughs> fucking human shit, horse shit, cow shit, dog Yo, shit. Yo, no, you can't do that. Eating bat. No, you gotta get real fucking shit from other places or something. That's what people eat in some places. Yo, they probably do eat horse yeah. shit, dude. Um. You fry some horse shit, it probably got a lot of nutrients. Eric Andre said that uh, he took shit and put it back in his own ass to get nutrients out of it. Ah, uh, what? Yeah. Eric Andre's a fucking weird guy. I don't know if he really did that, but I, he did I say doubt it. it. He seems like he would do and say anything. And see, look, this is my thing. If you're going to be weird out there, you got to draw the line somewhere. You know what I'm saying? He don't got no line. Yeah, he's a little different. Yeah, he all the way out there. Strange cat for sure. I like that show though because I'm I'm a big uh, Hannibal fan. Yeah, I like Hannibal. I think Hannibal levels it out. He does a little bit. Yeah, but he's crazy in his own way. He is. Who the fuck did he kick in the chest? Remember that shit? Eric Andre kicked somebody in the chest. Hannibal did. Remember somebody uh, was on there? He kicked the shit out of somebody. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget who that it shit was. was funny as hell. Yeah, he kicked the fuck out of I do somebody. That. <laughs> yeah. What else? Uh, oh, I had one more thing. Yo, we about, got her getting grips so I can kick somebody in the chest. <laughs> yo, I, yeah, I'll set that up. If you God, want. I need to kick somebody in the chest. Just let me. Bow. If you had to make, if you had to make a list of three Philly comics that I would kick in the chest yeah, first. Yeah. Well, first, if I gotta kick anybody in the chest, is Jesse Pedraza. Okay. You feel me? Just because he got a real kickable chest. It looked like he wouldn't do too much damage to my ankles or knees. That's like when you tell a nerdy kid in high school, you got a punchable <laughs> fucking face. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yo, you told Jesse Pedraza, you got a, he kickable, got a kickable chest. chest. <laughs> real right. It's not going to do too much damage to my fucking ligaments. Nah, not at all. You know what I mean? So first is Jesse Pedraza. It's like a waterbed. <laughs> right. Then probably Dorian. Dorian Vasquez, hmm. you probably next. Because you, you mean you little. So I'm gonna get some flight on you, and people are gonna it's gonna look like a 300 kick, and I'm gonna be a legend for that. They're gonna okay. be like, "Damn, now nah, I kick Dorian fucking 12 feet across the room." Respect. See what I'm saying? Then after that, I'm gonna have to kick a Kosh in the chest oh. because if I kick the Kosh in the chest, all the other comedians would be happy just because they don't like you. Dog, I like you. So me kicking you in the chest not because I don't like you. It's just cause. You know what I'm saying? All, everybody else going to be a little happy. Then afterwards, I'm going to be like, look, dog, my bad. You feel me? But you had to be third on the list. And you going to be a legend for that, yeah. I'm a legend for kicking the cosh in the chest. Nah, I feel you. And I like that because I'm going a, I'm to a, uh, post you saying that list. Mm-hmm. And I get to tag Akash and Dorian in the same post. And they don't fuck with each exactly. other. Exactly. Hell yeah. yeah. And then now we got some fucking real shit starting. Make sure when y'all beef back and forth on Facebook. Y'all tag do rag and a dare take we re, we restarted y'all beef. Yeah. You feel me? Just tag our shit. Though. Yeah. I want to instigate a lot more beefs. It's okay to do that. Yeah. It's okay. You can't instigate beef. I think beef. it's all love. Come on, y'all pass the hell, Are you, you smoke with people again? We just... Oh, now we on camera. Yeah, yeah dog. Yeah. Me and Drew been smoking together all the whole coronavirus. We ain't give a fuck about that. You know what I'm saying? That's true. That's, that's actually not true. <laughs> that's but, not true at all. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lie. But we had spoke together. And I had, you mean? I think about it. This is my thing. I'm going to tell y'all this right now. If you under the age of fucking 60, you're not going to die from coronavirus unless you're already fucking about to die. So you're going to be all right. So wait, what do you think about this for a solution to everything going on right now with the riots? We put all white women over the age of 30 on leashes in public. And just walk them down the street? Yeah, I think they should have somebody walking them. Well, I would agree with this. But if I do, other people that was talking shit about our podcast going to see this. And they're going to be like, yo, y'all podcast fucked up. Like who? Like fucking, let's not say no names. Because then you're going to have to dolphin noise them out. 
You feel me? And put them so on let leashes. You, so let you be right. So you can, let's play that. You can play that side, and I'll play the other side. No, good Drew. cop, bad cop. Okay. Yeah, good yeah. cop. No, Drew. We all right, so give me white a, women on leashes. Let's play feud like Ronald Lamar. Even though they crazy as shit and they fucking wild out for no reason and call the mm-hmm. cops for no reason, they don't deserve to be put on leashes. Now, counter argument. I'm not saying have them on a fucking three foot chain. Like a fucking backyard, a uh, junkyard pit bull. So you talk about something more... I'm talking about like a retractable 25 to 40 foot leash. Okay. Where they could go out and they can roam and they can, they can shop. They can fucking go in their own stores if they want. You don't even got to be in the store with them. But if some shit pops off, you can retract them at all times. And they should have supervision. Well, now that you put it that way, that does sound more, mm-hmm. you know... Human friendly. Yeah, I can't convince you that I'm wrong on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've started to see it from your side now, Drew. You yeah. might have a point there. Keep Karen's on leashes, though. Yeah, you got to. They get they fucking wilding out. Yeah. You would get somebody killed doing that Karen shit. Chill out. Well, the next time you see something going on and you feel like you need to be the authority, check your fucking self and be like, let me mind my business and just walk off. Dude, I want to I wanna present this law to the... Uh, Leader of black people, my man Satoyo. Mm-hmm. And I think he's going to help me get it to Congress. Hell yeah. Satoyo is a fucking a frontline soldier, dog. Satoyo out there. Yeah. He all the way out there. He was breakdancing at the protest the other day. Yeah. That's he that bull. But, but like, not like, like stopped and there was a crowd around him. Yeah. Like when everybody else was marching, he yeah. was breakdancing. Oh, doing hell, doing yeah. like the back spins and shit. Just the kicking whole, people yeah, and like fucking a, doing his own thing. Yeah, hell, like yeah, a top. It was crazy. Fuck that. Show your dedication. Get out there and break dance for the cause. Y'all just marching. He breaking a sweat. You feel me? He out there yeah, break dancing. Dance, man. Yeah. You got to get out there. Shout out, shout out to Satoyo, man. Yeah. I knew he was about his shit. I knew it though. First time I met him, I was like, all right, he got a certain amount of seriousness to him off the stage. You feel me? Oh, yeah. People that got serious to him off the stage is like, all right, you a clown like us, but That's not like, all um, the way. You know what I mean? Malachi like that, too. Malachi is I like that. I fuck with Malachi, uh, but yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he got an on guy. and off switch. Yeah. Yeah. I fuck with that. Yeah. Don't message Malachi on some goofy shit when no, he in the listen. middle of one of his rants about how the, the, white, the white people is the oppressor. Dog, I'm feeling. Don't cross certain yeah. lines with him, dog. I don't be a Joe man. Murdoch. Don't. Do... <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but no. don't. You don't want to. Joe be Murdoch that watch this podcast. I don't think anybody's watching at this point. Motherfuckers <laughs> 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 get three minutes into this. Yo, song, bro, right? we're, yeah. Huh? Hell yeah. I'm out. Yo, we be having like 20 views. <laughs> it's all right. Whatever. We we could literally just chill and let George Bush do the rest of this podcast, <laughs> the bobblehead. And not say a just word. Just fucking hit his fucking chin every yeah. fucking 10 seconds, let him fucking bobble out. And ask people, like, what y'all think about the last 20 minutes of the pod? They'd be like, right. dope. Hell dope. yeah. Funniest shit yeah. yet. Fire. Fucking idiots. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, though. Dude. Hey, you damn dummies don't realize greatness in the works. Don't be all in our dicks when we back in great room and we out here making shit happen. Nah, like, I, I love everybody that do watch this shit. No, yeah, I love y'all. I, yeah. I love people that watch, still watch it. Right now. I'm talking to the people I'll that don't watch it. That's going that once we get our shit popping, they go back and watch fucking past episodes. You dick eater that just went back in time and watched this episode, dog. Fuck you, yo. You know what I'm saying? Just cause we popping now, you wanted to know what's up. You should have mm. been here, asshole. If, if you could time travel to anywhere, where would it be? If I could time travel forward or backwards, anywhere. Well, I'm going to the year three thousand. Why? Because of the Jonas Brothers? No, I just what I don't even know what that means. But no, you don't know the Jonas Brothers. I know who they are, but mm-hmm. I don't know how they fucking coincide with the year three thousand. A great song called the Year Three Thousand. You a Jonas Brothers fan? I'm huh? Not. It was a big thing when man, I was. Man, he try to say you know y'all see Never y'all see y'all man Drew try to say he not a Jonas Brothers. It's all right. Sometimes you gotta like the. That's Jonas literally Brothers. the only song I know. But the Year Three Thousand. Yeah, it was a big thing when I was. No, I'm school. going there because I want to see what everything like. Let me see what the fucking. You know what I'm saying? Let me see what people look like. Let me see what type of cars we got in the year 3000. Let me see if the you earth is still on earth. We say we time travel. No, I'm saying like today you. No. Fuck no. And what are you talking? Uh-huh. That makes no sense. No, Nobody that we know right now is going to be alive <laughs> in the year. 
Probably none of our lineage might not even be around by then. Yours might not. Yours not. Mine definitely is. Nah, because you're going to fuck some black girl and have a black baby. That's cool. <laughs> what that mean? <laughs> then, your black, then your black baby going to fuck a black... A black boy have a never black ass baby. <laughs> I'm gonna have I'm gonna have one of each race. That's the goal. Yo, that's the goal. That is the goal. Yeah. Yo, I'm gonna fight if you them can all. achieve that. Yeah. Make them all fight at the end. Yeah. I think I think it'd be better for you, just because. Uh, I wanna. I I think no, it'd be better if we both did it. Oh hell yeah! Hell like at the same time, right? So then we could see what. And they had them fight each like other. A, a white man. With black woman jeans. Right. Versus and black man with, with white, white woman, woman jeans. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. And then make them fight and train against each other yeah. for their whole life. Not Hell fight yeah. to the death. What are you talking about? Nah, nah, nah. The it. fight to the death got to come once they train. A fight to the death not going to be fun when they not train. That's going to be bullshit. Let them train. You got to let them gain a fucking friendship. Look, we got to go that, completely yeah. dark. They got to gain a friendship. going to be love like, the, each other. Uh, like the Marines when they give them yep. the puppies. Yeah, exactly. And then yeah, you got to like, listen, miles, you, you can't never come home unless you fucking kill this motherfucker right now. No, Dad. But Uncle Drew, that's my fucking thing. But I love little Larry. That's my... I don't give a fuck little about Larry. that. Y'all got to get... That's your son's name. You got to get out there and fucking... Because his name Larry because his mom black. And she... She don't No, name. my black son going to be named Kwame. Oh, all right. Kwame. Yeah. yeah. No, dad. I love Kwame. This is him. Be like, no, fuck that. Y'all got to fight to the... Then they going to get in there and fucking... Yeah, that's how I go. That's what yeah. we got to do. All right. So, this is what we need y'all to do. We're going to set up a Patreon... And y'all got to pay us so that we can have enough money to have a bunch of babies and train them properly. You feel me? With swords and shit, though. It's swords and shit, like yeah. It. It's going to end up working out the best for y'all. Be it's going to end up being out, working out way better people for don't y'all. sword fight no more. They don't. Ever. Yeah. I heard sword fights was way shorter than they be on movies, though. I heard it was like one or two Fuck fucking yeah, swipes. Dude. Yeah. Where, what are you thinking? The, no sword battle go. That's what I never got about Star Wars. That's why that shit was so ass. Yeah, me. cause you got fucking lightsabers. How is you bing bing banging with each other with the yeah. lightsabers? I'm hitting swing somebody his in leg fucking, real quick. Yeah. Their wrist. Yes, yeah, yes, swing at his wrist. You gonna cut his or whole we, hand or off? We lock up in one of the in the first mm, shit yeah. buzzing. Boom. Yeah, swipe the right shit down. down. Yep. Swipe the shit down. It's a dub. Fuck you doing? That's all hot. You could cook hamburgers on lightsaber. Yep. No, you can't cook a person. Same with sword fights, though. I always, you see these long ass fucking yeah. Game of Thrones. Sword I watch the ancient weapons. They said most sword fights probably only lasted one or two seconds. Like it mm. probably was, it was probably was a like just a a a, a jab in and over, or a jab in right, and that so, person already was losing because they was hurt so bad they couldn't well, finish yeah. the fucking fight. You see what I'm saying? Because you, I think ninety percent of like fucking sword swings aren't getting blocked on the first leg. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're not yo, they're not catching them like they do in movies. They not you not that sharp yeah. they had de- like it's way easier to be offensive than defensive with sword fighting. And break it down like this. Think about how many punches a person throws in one to two seconds though. That's why I think it might have right. gone that's why it might have gone longer though, because swinging a sword does take a little bit longer than throwing a punch. You know what I mean? That depends on the sword you got. We, I think they was talking about like the Japanese swords, like katanas and shit. If you're talking about the heavy knight swords, that's a long-ass fight. And they probably more so die from like... Heat exhaustion. Yeah, right. Like just yeah. from getting tired. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. more than... Because you can take getting hit in the head with a sword if you got a fucking helmet on probably two or three times. You see what I'm saying? For you pass the fuck out or fall down. Yeah. I don't know about that. Them metal helmets, some like you can take two or three of them, not clean like right down the middle, but like a swipe here on the side. That's like having a fucking like a big ass noodle pot on your head, and somebody yeah. just kicking you with your shit dumb hard. Like, but the first one might not drop. Is what I'm saying. You might get two or three of them before you drop. I guess it depends. But those was heavy ass swords too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're right? I feel like, yeah, yeah, you're right. You get a concussion that's off yeah, that morning game. Swords was heavy. You ever oh, go yeah. to the art museum to the fucking weapon, John? Nah. We gonna do a do rag and a deer tag. I'm gonna show Drew the fucking art museum. I used to take. I ain't gonna say that, but uh, I uh, I'm, we gonna take Drew down there, do rag and a deer tag, so he can see the weapons, John. We gonna record that shit so y'all can see how amazed he be. Dog, these swords like this fucking tall. They and the handle like up here, like the sword. They, dog, that shit look crazy. I'm like, I how the fuck could knights fucking 
Swing them Jones. No, that shit looks. I can just imagine all like seventeen year old nerdy white kids in the art museum medieval section, and they you yep, just finding out about it. Hell yeah! Like, y'all see the nunchucks over here? <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Yeah, you work here, sir? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> that's oh, that's me. <laughs> I'll be in that joke like, yo, y'all see this Joe? This look crazy. Cause I can't believe like who, who were these humans that could swing a sword that big? Cause. You see what I'm saying? Knights and Not shit I. like that. Like, that's crazy. And humans were smaller back then. And they were so. smaller humans. Yeah. But they were stronger or something. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, Dude, that's, that's why shit. the fucking... The musket and the revolver changed the world. Mm-hmm. Anybody could do that. Yeah. You ain't gotta be strong to do that. You Damn. can just... What's the most... Shoot that shit. What's the most... I guess, world-changing weapon ever? Like, was it the gun, the bow and arrow, the sword... I don't know why I'm asking you this. Because like, you the medieval weapons fucking expert <laughs> no. in the museum. <laughs> no, but it's definitely You're like, well, it was actually the spear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, because that's the first projectile. It could be the spear. But no, it's probably the gun. Because, like you just said, anybody could do that. Anybody could shoot a gun. You, yeah. don't, you don't gotta, you could be a child and kill somebody that's very important. Yeah, is it the musket? Is it the the, uh, the revolver? Or is it the first, the fully the automatic? The revolver. The revolver. The first fully sure. auto changed shit too, the first though. first fully auto yeah, definitely changed everything. Most shit down. Yeah. You ain't got to keep cocking that bitch. Nope. You can just let it go. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's it. I know weapons, though. I want to Or is it the atomic bomb? Because think nah, about it like this. That's a cheat code. Nah, but all the countries is like on their hills because of the atomic bomb. Yeah, but countries like, like we got our power because our country has our power because of that shit. Doctor Manhattan fucked up Vietnam. Is you talking about from the movie or from yeah. the fucking yeah? That's what I'm saying. That's the weapon. But that's not a real bull. If he was a real bull, yeah, hey, he the weapon. But he not. A, if he's a real bull, dog, it would be peace on earth. We don't know that. It would, or either he would just be ruling. No, him. I'm saying we don't know. He's not a real person. Dog, he's not a real bull. Dr. Manhattan? If you was Dr. Manhattan, would you still live on Earth or would you go somewhere else? I'd be on Mars, just like him. That's bullshit. Yeah, why not? Just make where you from better. Nah, go up to Mars and kick it. No, just make, no, yo. Because he, he seen that Earth was fucked up, so he's like, I'm yeah, good. right. Yeah, I don't need parts of this. That's bullshit. He's a pussy. He should have fucking just held it down. Don't say no disrespectful shit about Dr. Manhattan. No, he was a pussy. Why would he just hold it down? Why you not going to just make shit know. better? Like, that's crazy. I only watched the movie one time, and I'm a fan now. No, that movie, the shit. That's because you yeah. like the show, though. I ain't never seen the show. Show dope, too. Shout out to Watchmen. Big fan. Yeah, I ain't never seen the show. Yo, we still good because the joint? What? We should be. If not, we're going to figure it out. I think we, like, almost an hour in anyway. So we yeah. only got... I only had one more thing on my notes I had to, to ask you. We got... I, I wanted to do the Shittiest Actors Awards. But I feel like we got to plan that. Because I just got a list of shitty actors. So I feel yeah, like I, got some, I got some ideas in my head, right? I can I can, I can rip some off. Yeah? And I got something that people might be surprised about. Is we All talking right. about acting, acting? So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the... 2020 Oscars for shitty actors. I just want to. I just want to hear your top three. My top three. Yeah, overrated. We're gonna go back and forth on a draft. All right, overrated. So at the top of that shit, I gotta put number one. I'm throwing Nicolas Cage. Okay. Yeah, he was on mine. Cause Nicolas Cage sucks. He sucks. He the same mm-hmm. bull every job. You feel me? He not. And then even that, he don't got no range of emotion. He either gonna give you snapping Nicolas Cage, or See, kind of I, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with Nicolas Cage. I don't know if he's overrated though, because I don't know anybody that like, like yo, you seen that new Nicolas Cage? You know, That's like true. yeah. All right, well here go my number two. Uh, well, now nah, here's my number one. Oh, right, well, yeah, what's your number one? Number one, Vin Diesel. Okay. Garbage. Yeah. That's a that's a great one. Garbage. Cause he really can't act. He's trash. Yeah. He, he has maybe four lines in every movie. Yeah. They're just like very pow. He's like, the fucking brakes are cut. Let's gas it. And be like, what? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck does that mean? Right. Like all for one, none for all. Right. He'd just be saying like famous phrases backwards. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and he delivers it horribly. Yeah. No, all right, you right about that. He's like, the time for now is change. Like, huh? It's backwards, dog. Vin Diesel not the answer. Yeah, no, I like that. All right. So, number two. This might shock y'all. You feel me? Because a lot of people not might not agree. I'm going with Tom Cruise. Mm. He can get the fuck out of here. He's another one. He the same boy in every movie. He Tom Cruise in every movie. I disagree. He don't. I never seen a movie where Tom Cruise wasn't Tom Cruise except for uh, what's that shit? Tropical, Tropical Thunder. Thunder. That's the, that's the only shit where he was. Uh, All right. Anything different? And he, mind you, he be, he was an actor for like thirty years, forty years before that. When that's the first time he ever did anything that wasn't Tom Cruise. Who was he just in that was good? Let me look him up real quick. Tom Cruise was just in a movie that I fucked with. Mission Impossible. Nah, it wasn't Mission Impossible. Because I didn't like the Mission Impossible movies. Tom Cruise movies. Top Gun was whack. Mission Impossibles have been whack. Jack Reacher, whack. Mm -hmm. The Mummy, whack. Mm Mm-hmm. War of the Worlds, whack. He, you're making my... You, he proven... No, yeah. Saying. No, I agree with you. Rain Man. He was in Rain Man. Good movie. But he was any bull. He, look, in Rain Man... He, he was, wasn't any bull. In Rain Man, he Mission was... Mission Impossible, he's any bull. No, look. In Rain Man, he was the same bull he was in... Um, what's the joint with Cuba Good? When it's uh, Show Me the Money. He, he wasn't in radio? No. He he was show me he was the boy and show me show me the money. Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire. Great movie. Jerry Maguire is the same. He the same boy in that as he is in Rain Man. It's still a type of Tom Cruise, but it's just a different type. But it's um, still him. Edge of Tomorrow was a good movie. That's the one I was. Oh uh, yeah, I like the Edge of Tomorrow. Solid movie. Right. But other than that, I'll, I'll give you that. Tom Cruise can fucking. Get yeah, he's fuck number two on here. my list. He can go. Yeah. All right. It's a solid number two pick. Um, number two. I'm gonna go with Terry Crews. I don't know. Is, or is he overrated? Do anybody I mean, consider him a good nah, actor? Don't nobody consider him a good actor. Like, all right, we gonna skip that one then. I'm gonna go with Tom Hanks. What? Yeah, Tom Hanks fucking sucks. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks sucks. You wildin', bro? Dude, he he's Tom the Hanks same boy in every movie. What are you talking about? Nah, no. He's same not. dude in every movie. Dog, he was Forrest Gump. Are you out and, your and mind? And he's been Forrest Gump since 1994. Nah, yes, he has. Bro. Bro, Castaway was ass. Saving Why? Private Ryan. Castaway was ass. Saving Private Saving Ryan. Saving Private Ryan was that was, was a ass. good movie. No, okay. that was a good movie. Yes, there we go. And Green Mile was a good movie. Yes. Forrest Gump. Eh. Nah, you're eh. bugging. No, you tripping right now. Forrest man. Gump. You eh. know you bugging. You know you bugging. You just named three movies good. that was good that he was in. But I'm saying good movie, solid movie. I don't know. And Forrest he was Gump's a different bull. But South he's been Gilt. the same ball since then no. and everything else. Far Castaway not. was whack. Captain Phillips was whack. The that, fucking was, that, was, that was a great movie too. Whack. Fucking Toy Story. He had no parts of making that movie good. They could have put anybody what? else in there. Anybody could have been. Are not... Was he Buzz or Woody? I don't even understand he was how we do a podcast together. You just he said Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is whack. You're crazy. You out your mind. Whack. He's one of the best actors ever. Probably. Look, big ass, Sully big ass. Big was the shit. Philadelphia ass. You didn't like big? No. Da Vinci Code, whack. What? Da Vinci, what? You da thought Vinci Da Vinci Code was all that. That's no, it wasn't. Job. No, it was not. Da Vinci Code was a four hour movie. About conspiracies About and bullshit. shit. About bullshit. Catch Me If You Can, whack. The Polar Express. What? Overrated. Catch Me If You Can was all that. Come on, dog. Yo, see, you, I don't, now I don't trust your taste in movies. DiCaprio was good in Catch Me If You Can. Good acting by him. Yeah, and Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks blew it. They could have put anybody else in that movie. All right, they could have put anybody. Adam in, Sandler could have played that same no, fucking not, role. fuck no. Yes, he could <laughs> Tom Hanks sucks. All right. Tom Hanks sucks. Mr. Rogers' new movie, whack. Get Tom Hanks the fuck out of here. So you got Tom Hanks for number two. Oh, I'm going to piss you off with this last pick, man. Alright. Because well, that's the one I've been thinking about. For number three. My third pick. Well, no, he's not really overrated. Okay, this third pick. He's a good actor. I give it to him. 
average, kind of good, on the better side of average, good. Good actor. Good actor, don't get me wrong. But he is overrated. Because most of the time, he the same ball at every job. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and every fucking movie, he the same ball. Will Smith ain't it, Ooh. bro. Like, Will you ain't it. You know what's really funny? It, I almost dog. put him on there. Will Smith ain't it, I almost dog. put him on there. He alright. I'm not going to argue you. But Will the same boy in most of his movies. He I'm always not Will argue. Smith. But he's got some good ones. Bad Boys. He's got good ones. Men in Black. He, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> what else he got? I Robot. Eh. Eh. Duh, all I'm saying Not is, bad. I am legend, man. He averaged. Like, he's... I could have went without seeing either of them. Like, Hancock, you, you, You'll watch a Will Smith movie when you can't think of nothing else to watch. It's like, all right, Man. I can't think of... Like, all right, I'm sitting here. I'm smoking, chilling. And he what got am I about to watch? He got a lot of bad ones. Yeah. Seven Pounds, bombed. I ain't fuck with that. Suicide Squad, bad. Yeah, it wasn't it. Um, Gemini Man was shit. Didn't fuck with that neither. What else he got in here? Uh... Bright on Netflix was dog that shit. That was shitty. That was yeah. ass. I watched that. That was terrible. That was ass, dog. Concussion, where he was the fucking... That fake-ass, dumb-ass accent, yeah, that, that African was, boy. That was bad. That, was, that accent was horrible. That's one of the worst African accents I ever heard. Yeah. Drew, yeah, African accent you did earlier that you said Jane would do on camera because it probably was racist. Oh, the, was way better. Oh, you you got the uh, the cabbage? You got the, the truck of cabbage? That's not like an Indian. Bring the cabbage to Kofi. There you go. Kofi house. Mm-hmm. We go to Kofi house. Mm-hmm. Kofi got the, the fishing pole and the cabbage. There you go. That's yeah. way better than yeah. fucking yeah, the Will Smith. Hell they yeah. should have hired you to play African ball. Yeah, dude. I was thinking about uh, applying for that role. But uh, what? They got bright too. They hired white out. people to play every other role any fucking Jesus way. Jesus Christ. You feel me? Bright too might be the fucking... It's a bright too? It's coming out. Ain't nobody gonna watch that shit. Yeah. It's a Netflix special. Alright. I'm gonna I'm put my number three in here, man. I think this boy is overrated. I'm a fan, though. I'm a fan. Don't get it confused. And I like what he's been doing lately with activism. Okay. But he's a he's an overrated actor, man. Seth Rogen. Oh, Seth Rogen? Yep. I like Seth Rogen. I'm a fan, but he's overrated. Listen. Pineapple Express... And knocked up. That was in 2007 and 2008. Damn. Yeah, what's he had since then? That was that long ago? Yes. Listen. This is the end. Whack. Long shot was bad. Super bad. He had a very small role in it. So I can't yeah. I can't give him credit for that. Neighbors was bad. The interview was bad. Sausage Party was bad. That was bad. Um, Green Hornet was terrible. Horrible. Damn. So. The night before, bad. And that's my guy, though. Good Boys, that movie he wrote, terrible. Yeah, man, I think Seth wrote, and then beyond that, he just got like a lot of minor roles. Observe and Report, remember when he was the mall yeah. cop? Yeah. Jesus Christ. That was terrible. 50-50 when he had cancer. Yeah, Seth Rogen's not the answer, man. Damn. He might be the number one on the list because everybody loves Seth Rogen, but yeah. he's had dog shit movies since he 2008. Had, yo. Damn, I didn't think of, but it's because the movie that was good was so good. No, and that's why I hate to do it because Knocked Up and uh, Pineapple Express are classics. Yeah. Pineapple Express Even might Super be. Super Bad. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, obviously Super Bad the classic, but I yeah. can't. But I mean, his role was small, but. Yeah. No, he did have a very funny role it in that movie. Funny. He, he was, was funny. He was a cop. Yeah. yeah, he was funny as shit in that yeah. time. He was funny as shit. Damn. I hate to put him in there, but he in there. Yeah, I like Seth Rogen. Yeah. That's my guy. Hate to do it to him. All right. But yeah, the last thing I had to ask you before we get out of here, because I don't know how much. We probably only are at like 20 minutes. We're just panicking. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I don't know what we at. This is like six minutes. Um. (laughs) (laughs) He might, you going to stop me and be like, yo, this is only 15 minutes. Let me see. Oh, how many times a year do you pee outside? And uh, what's and what's a healthy amount? Well, in my own experience, I would have to say a countless number of times. Cause this time per when, year on average. Now though, now yeah, 
Because growing up, everybody peed outside. I mean, but even now, it's probably... All right, it's not a countless. It's way less than countless, honestly. I just didn't feel like fucking trying to calculate it. So I'm saying between 5 and 25 a year is acceptable. Okay. I'm not going to agree with that. Yeah, because yeah. I'm probably around 15. Because that's like maybe twice a month. Yeah, I'm around 15 probably. Maybe. How how much more do you got piss outside? And that's only because sometimes in the summertime, you be at a cookout. And sometimes you had a cookout, you don't even know who crib but, to go in. But I'm saying if you if you at one cookout and you piss outside three times, that counts as one. Oh, all right. Yeah. Are we doing it like that? Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. The, yeah, all right. You know, yeah, you got accurate numbers then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I think anything over 25 is real unhealthy. Yeah, that's wild. You After must be homeless. Age, yeah. how, you 20, how you got more than 25 pisses outside in a year? Because I thought about it the other day. I was peeing outside, and I'm like, this feels fucking like freedom, Doug. You know what it I mean? It does. Anytime you do it. Yeah. It feels good. It does. Anytime. When your dick hits the wind. Right. You got something. Like, you got to worry about where you piss because of breeze or, yep. like, a hill rolling back yep. down you on you. Rolling on you. But yep. there ain't nothing better than pissing up a hill Hell and the yeah. shit roll back between your legs. Yep. And you got the little river going between your legs. Right. There's yeah, no better feeling. Move. And you like, I created that. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. I'm fucking feeding the earth. You yeah. You feel me? These plants about to live a little longer. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how people get arrested for peeing outside. Unless it's like near a park or like straight in public. But if you behind yeah. a bar and you pissing on a wall, I don't know how people get tickets for that. Right. I know somebody that has a, um, what's it, like a sexual offense charge. For pissing outside? Yes. He's not like a, a level one yeah, offender bullshit. or anything, but he's on the list. Yeah. Like he comes up on the app. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's bullshit. Yeah. That shouldn't happen. That's wild. That's a wild move. Forever. His neighbors just think he fucked kids. Right. All he did was get drunk and pee outside. And pee outside. Yeah, like a free and then man. He got a fucking charge. It's unbelievable. Well, that's the society we live in. What's and that's what we fighting for. What's to your stop favorite cops from locking people up for pissing outside? What's your favorite place to pee outside? I like a nice tree, if I gotta be honest. I like to be able to find a nice tree I could park. Like what's by. what's a North Philly outside spot to piss? Well, if you in North Philly, you ducking off in an alleyway somewhere. You mean you, you cutting back on the side or behind somebody's crib. You yeah. feel me? You ain't gonna be you ain't gonna be right on the street pissing outside in North Philly. You might just duck back behind something. Like on a homeless dude's blanket or something. Hell yeah. But yeah. well, no, nah, ain't no homeless dudes in North Philly. They what? downtown and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, you see, we live in the war zone. Y'all hear that? It's going down. I'll be trying. Oh. Oh, they shooting back. Hell yeah. We out here with it. What if I just got hit with a stray mid podcast and <laughs> It just died. I'll be like, oh, that's Damn. great, pal. Uh, <laughs> Duh. I hope they can hear that, yo. Because I'll be hearing that every yo, that night. that would be nuts. Bro, I'll be hearing that every night. And and I try and convince myself it's firecracker. I guarantee like, he was not. Like, not every Damn. night. <laughs> These kids got the, the fucking bottle rockets out again. That's crazy. On a Monday. On June June 8th. Yo. Yeah, no. It's, it's a early, no, it's an early 4th July. It when it's That'd be one. That'd be right the worst the shit ever. Bow. Be like, yo, what the fuck? Damn. Yeah, dog. You gotta be careful when you record a podcast in the hood. Stay away from windows. I don't even live in the hood. <laughs> it's the crazy thing, but dude, this it's close this, enough. This bitch the other day, fucking, she um, wait, what happened? I'm trying to think. Oh, no. I'm trying to think of the order of how this happened. So, my brother hit me. Mm. And he's like, yo. Um, my brother came down here. And he's like, yo. Some, uh, I just pulled up. But mm. some dude just got hit in the face with a crowbar. Like, as oh, I'm pulling shit. up, I seen some dude run up and bash some dude in the head with a crowbar. He's like, am I good to, like, what the fuck? Because he's from New York, so he ain't know what yeah. was going on. He's like, the fuck? I'm like, nah, you good. That happens. You good. Just yeah, be peaceful. Up. Yeah. Get out. So, he, boom, he walk up to the crib, whatever, and then a week later, in front of that same spot, in front of the corner store down the street, mm. is when I was driving somewhere, it was early in the morning, 
and it was all these cops and like an ambulance on the corner. Yeah. And I see this lady, this crackhead lady that just be this white joint to yeah. be all over uh she be in every corner store around here. Right. Cause you gotta go to the different corner stores, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. certain ones got the honey backwoods because yeah, those yeah. illegal now. Certain ones got the BLTs for two fifty, but right, they right, four right. dollars there, what yeah. else? You get your you snacks get your and cheese. Yeah. So I got three different corner stores I fuck with. So I seen the, the um anyway, I seen the girl in front of the the one corner store with the snacks. Mm-hmm. Right in front of where the other boy got hit with the crowbar. Right. And she's bleeding all out her face. Oh, shit. And she's like, um, she's like telling the cops, she's like, yeah, he hit me with this fucking crowbar. Ah, uh, whatever. Like, I fr- and I was driving, so I didn't hear the whole story, but I, I clearly heard her say she got hit with a crowbar. Damn. And then I saw her like two days later and her face was all fucked up. So I'm like, yo, it's a serial crowbar yo, fucking killer. Your neighborhood. Yeah, it's wild, bro. He just Dude, hitting yeah. random motherfuckers with crowbars. Yeah, you gotta watch out. That's crazy. I would rather have a serial killer around the way. Yeah, than a just crowbar, the, boy. Yeah, some boy just run up and bash you in the head with a crowbar, and then I gotta get on the podcast with a fucked up yeah, face. Yeah, fucked up. You had stitches going down your shit, and then you ain't got enough money to get plastic surgery, so you I'm ain't gonna look like that. Yeah. Damn. I would have to use your insurance and just tell them I'm you. <laughs> Hell yeah. What you mean, my name? My name not Naeem. We could definitely do that. I look like a Naeem. Right. Hell yeah. Dude, I don't got nothing else. I don't know what time we're at. This has been beautiful, though. This, this is like is fucking... a two-hour podcast. Dude, this yeah, has been know. like seven hours, I feel right. like. Right. Y'all got some extra fucking content. We started this on a Monday. It's now Wednesday. And we mm-hmm. appreciate everybody that stuck around. I hope we don't got to do any more of these on this couch. Yeah, this might be the last one. Y'all we'll like know. this microphone and shit now, though. We got... We improving. Yeah, we getting we there. Trying to do it for y'all. We getting there. But, yeah, man. Hopefully, we in grape soon. Right. That's the goal. Right, it might be real soon. Yeah. yeah. Stay tuned with that. Um right. make sure y'all come through when we get back in great too. I s I'm trying to think. Yeah, obviously we don't got nothing to plug either. No. Not shit yet. going on. Everything about to come back though. So subscribe. Just chill. Yeah, subscribe. subscribe. Subscribe to this yeah. fucking YouTube channel. And fucking tell your mom, but don't tell her what you saw in here. Tell mm-hmm. her to watch. You right. I mean? That's all you gotta say. Yeah. Yo, you gotta see these two boys, they funny. That's it. Yeah. Them boys is funny. Yep. And we good. Yeah. We out of here, man. It's been uh, George Bush says thank you. Yep. We out.